Russia prepares for mobilization. Iran threatens the Altanf checkpoint. And Venezuela sends violent criminals to the United States. Stay tuned. The Russian Federation just approved amendments to their criminal code, drastically increasing the penalty of abandoning your post during times of war, signaling their preparations for a massive military campaign and the potential for drafting civilians into the conflict. Meanwhile, the Syrians and Russians land devastating blows against Hayat Tahrir al-Sham in northern Syria, taking out several key positions, over 120 combatants, and more than 20 drone experts and high-ranking members of HTS. And while the Russians and Syrians launch an offensive in the north, rumors emerge that Iran is preparing to attack the Altamp checkpoint, a United States-occupied blockade in the south along the Baghdad-Damascus highway, which is currently in place to protect Israel from Iranian missiles being sent to Damascus. Iranian proxies have made their intentions very clear to the entire world. They want nothing less than the complete eradication of the Jews. That being said, you can expect to start seeing an increase in preemptive attacks coming from Israel. And meanwhile, in South America, Iran just began operating their first ever overseas refinery in Venezuela. And while Iran and Venezuela make massive moves to increase relations, a recent DHS intel report revealed that Venezuela emptied out their prisons and sent violent criminals to the United States border. This development is made far worse by knowing the fact that Iran supplies Venezuela with advanced weaponry to include manned portable air defense systems. If these weapon systems make their way to the United States border, CBP wouldn't stand a chance and the floodgates would be opened. And while all of these maneuvers occur, U.S. aircraft carriers seem perfectly positioned to immediately respond to any provocation that might occur. But whatever happens, as always, don't forget, help out your neighbors. Mm -hmm.